it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So today we're going to be doing gift tags again. <laughs> I got so many special requests for them and lots of questions. So I want to go over it step by step again, just to make sure that this time we get all our questions answered so that you can do them in time for the gift, uh, gift giving season. So I love doing things like this ice cream. Um, or you know a quirky one like a pencil for a teacher and the cool thing is in the back it's a solid background so you can write to and from back there so that's um, super cool uh, so you can just put this on to you know, I mean you can make anything and you can make any words any fonts so a couple of things today I'm gonna show you first this one because this one is near and dear to my heart one of my favorite subscribers so um, if you remember I did this um, ribbon 30 inches off the mat and it was all glitter cardstock and it was so hard <laughs> it was beautiful but so hard um but i love the message so i want to show these three items these are svg files from etsy so you can do this with any file okay but i wanted to show you some just how you would go about doing it the only one that i would do um I would cut in multiple pieces of cardstock, glitter cardstock, because I think it would look so pretty, is this heart one, because it's not a lot of pieces. You have one big um, yellow and you know the blue and the red are big pieces, just this small one, so it's not a big deal. And then you have your black background. So I would do this as cardstock. This one with the bazillion pieces, I struggled with it at 30 inches. So I can't even imagine at um, four inches <laughs> what it would be you would want to yeah you'd want to bang your head against the wall so this one what I would do is let's do our our little tag so the circle to um, I made this one really big because I wanted you to be able to see it but we're gonna just make this um, empty circle so that you can loop a ribbon through um, to add to your gift <laughs> so let's bring in a circle then you want to bring in another circle so you duplicate it and you're basically taking two circles of two different sizes okay so something like this so you have your two sizes right grab the two circles go to align and you want to center it the, this one you want centered both horizontally and vertically but in this case it doesn't matter I always just click center though um, and then you're gonna slice it out. So here is our tab, right? Our little, and you're gonna make it smaller. You're going to make sure that you like it in comparison to your size, okay? Um, and ribbon is cool. I mean, unless you're using like a really wide ribbon and the material is hard, because if you use satin or grow, grow gain, <laughs> Um, that will fit through any small circle. Um, so here we go. If you like this one, let's duplicate this a few times. What I would do is for this one, I would do print and cut, right? So you want to make this black similar to the black background so that it's not, it's going to cut out whatever, it's going to print out whatever color you want. So you want to make sure you have the right color. You're going to stick it down here. And I would send this to the back. If this is, you'll get a feel for how big you like it and what kind of size ribbon you use. So I'm gonna make this just a little bit smaller. And with print and cut, you need to make sure that you, things look exactly the way you want it to print it. Okay, so like in this case, we want this circle, we wanna arrange and send it to the back. We want it like that, where the little hole pokes through, but we want the, you know, the, the actual puzzle pieces in the front. So now we're gonna grab everything and you're going to flatten. So what's cool about this is um, you're gonna send this to the printer, it's gonna come out with all these beautiful colors and then you send it to your Cricut machine and it's gonna cut out perfectly. So it's gonna cut out the whole, this little um, triangle piece and then all around beautifully, okay? All right, so you've got this one. Um, what you want to do though is, and I'm not sure if it's going to let me do this, my printer, um, I struggle printing on cardstock, so I just print on regular copy paper, so it's thin. Um, so I always like to have a backing behind it, so the way to do the backing is, and sometimes Design Space doesn't let me do this, I'm going to grab these two things, okay, so see, it didn't let me slice, so, oops. 
So the other way to do it is grab this piece, duplicate it, and then unflatten it. But what you do is you grab the whole thing and you weld it. So this gives you that solid black background that you're gonna put on 110 cardstock if you want, but 65 pound cardstock is perfectly fine. That's gonna be sturdier than some of your gift, gift tags that you buy. And then you see this is going to go in front, arranged into the front. It's going to look like this. And so you'll have a really nice stiff back um, tag. So that's one, right? This one, I like the idea of doing this one um, in cardstock, like all the different puzzle pieces. I kind of like it in the on the side. I don't necessarily want the heart with the thing here because I feel like it would change the way the heart looks. But on this one, what you want to do is you want to grab your circle and then you want to hit the shift key and you want to grab Okay, you don't want that. Let me see. Did it grab the right thing? Oh, so this is all grouped, so you don't want to do that. You want to go to this one, and you want to ungroup it. Okay, we want to grab the black, so it's the heart. And we want to grab this circle and weld it. So there's our piece, arranged into the back. And then those are your pieces right there. All right, so now let's look at this one, this butterfly. Same thing with the butterfly. I would probably do something like over here. So it would hang and you would still see the whole butterfly. All right, so something like this, I would make that black, right? And then grab the whole thing. Let's duplicate it. Let's do our background, right? So this one and weld. This will give us the solid background. And then on this one, you want to grab everything and you want to just flatten. All right. So let's, oh yeah, let's see what we have. Okay. In our panel, I want to show you, cause this is a great way to see what you have. You have this butterfly cut and print. So perfect. We have the background for the butterfly. Yes. These are the puzzle pieces of the heart that I thought would look cute if you cut it out in um, glitter cardstock, so it's perfect. Each one of these items is cut. Um, then you have our ribbon, which is a cut and print, perfect. And then you have the background to that one, and then you have the background to the heart. So this is exactly what we want. Let me show you what it looks like when we go to make it. So when you go to make it, you have this. So this is, oh, we don't want this to be cut and print, so let's go back. I, for, I guess I didn't do it, hold on. So when we welded this piece, oh, this piece is cut. Um, okay, because you can see it's cut. So that's gonna be cut on cardstock. But this one's cut and print. So we don't want cut and print. What we want is we want no fill. And then now it's cut, okay? Let's go to color sync though, because probably for our the background, we want everything in black. So you could just move it down here and move it to black. So now let's go to make it. Okay, so here is our cut and print. It's gonna cut, it's gonna print out these two items with the registration marks. That's nothing wrong. The registration mark is so that when you send it to your Cricut, it's going to get the sense, it's gonna read the registration marks to know where to cut perfectly on your pieces, okay? So we're gonna print this and then we're gonna send it to the Cricut machine. Here's our black background. Here are the different puzzle pieces, and these are small enough that you can use your scraps. I think it would look really, really pretty. All right, and that's it. So let me show you what that looks like. So let's say we're gonna continue, okay? You're gonna hit send to printer, and this pops up. You wanna add bleed, yes. Don't, I see so many people on Facebook saying, no, you don't want the bleed on. You do want the bleed on. It's gonna print an extra layer all around it, so when it cuts, it's gonna cut perfectly the way it looks here, okay? So you want bleed, you're gonna click print. It's gonna print, then you go to make it and you're just gonna pick whatever, you know, is this on cardstock, is this on copy paper, just like everything else. Just like when you go to click on cut here, is it glitter cardstock, regular cardstock, that's it. Now, if you printed and it didn't, um, it didn't print out properly or you need another you just hit send to printer again, okay? And then if you've already printed, 
um, later, because I'm not connected to my Cricut right now, it will say I've already printed. So you click that so you don't have to print again if you had double or something like that. Okay, so that's one tag down. I'm gonna click cancel, yes. Um, I'm gonna now show you how to do the happy birthday one. Okay, so let's cancel out of this. I'm gonna leave this here. Let's go to Inkscape, okay? So this is a brand new Inkscape. Um, let's do happy birthday, okay? So you wanna go to text. Here, let me open this bigger. Go to text, and then you wanna pick your font. So the font that I used for happy birthday was Stylus, so here we go. And then do your text box, and then type in happy birthday. I did all lowercase. Now here's happy, right? But I don't want birthday to be connected to it. So I'm just gonna give it a lot of space and then type in birthday. And why? I'll tell you in a second. So let's click on our arrow right here. Let's make this really big so we can see it. You wanna make sure when we highlight this thing, go over and click on the lock button because we want this to um, be resized proportionately. So here we go. So now you can see happy birthday, right? Um, let's, this is highlighted. So what you wanna do is you wanna click in a empty space. So click in the white area. So nothing is selected right now. Go and click on your paint bucket and pick on a color. And let's just do 20, okay? So we're gonna type in 20. And we're gonna to have to click on each letter because nothing's connected. So this is, you know, this is basically five separate separate letters, okay? So here's that. And do you see how the H and the A overlap now? That's why I wanted to give this space from birthday because I wanna bring it into design space um, with an offset that's not connected to happy just so that I can mess around with it. So here we go. And then we want it over here. Um, let's see. And you're gonna have to click on the little dot. Okay, so let's just, oops, let me undo that. Sometimes it does that, you know, I really don't get why, but just undo it and click more like in the center of the letter. I feel like that's my workaround. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, oh, I'm gonna undo that. Maybe it's just where I'm clicking, I don't know. There you go. All right, so let's click on the arrow. Now I know I only want a 20, but I'm gonna show you how to do another offset in case you wanna do that for another project. So you wanna click on the arrow. This is highlighted. You don't want anything selected. So we're gonna click in the empty space. We're gonna click on the paint bucket again, pick a different color, and now do the offset for maybe 40, okay? And so now the word happy is all connected. You should be able to do one offset. Yep. And then same thing here, right? Awesome, okay, so click the arrow, grab everything, then go to path, object to path, file, save as. So I'm gonna do save as happy birthday, and I already did this before, but offset double, just so that I can remember. Okay, let's go into design space. So in the same thing, let's go to upload, upload image, browse, and let's see, it was happy birthday, right? Okay, happy birthday, offset double. Click continue, don't worry about that, save. <laughs> and then let's insert this thing. Okay, so here it is. What you wanna do is let's ungroup it. Now, this offset right here, I don't like having those little dots. Just go to contour and hit hide all. So now it's this you know nice background. Now the green, you can see it overlaps. Let's grab the green. So here's our, let's do happy. Okay, so that's not happy, that's birthday. Here we go. This is happy. <sighs> hit the shift key and just grab everything over here. And then we're gonna weld it. Now it's one beautiful offset. Let's do this side. Here's birthday. Let's take that down, go to contour. Let's get rid of all those bubbles. Then birthday, let's grab birthday. So one by one, each letter, hit the shift key and grab each one of these things and weld. Now it's gonna be one solid piece, right? And I'm gonna, um, in a second, let's ungroup this. 
I'm just gonna make it bigger in just a bit. So this, let's group that together so it always moves as one, and we'll group this as well. Okay, so let me move this on top of here so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna move this over and then let's zoom in for a second and I'm gonna make this bigger. Okay. Now this layer right here, if you don't like this little cut, and sometimes it depends on your material, um, and you know your materials best, and your blade if you don't want it. So this might rip up something, so I would go to contour and just get rid of that one. So click here where the, 100, where the number is, it'll automatically take you to 100%. Let's click on this to get rid of that. You might like the other, you know, the open spaces, but I like this because no one would have noticed it anyway. Sometimes with this open space, it actually makes it more difficult to see. So I'm tempted to go to contour and hide all so that we have a solid green. Do you see? Um, let me see how I did it on this one. Okay, so on this one, I did have the open for the B, the A, the PP, and Y. Um, but I only did two layers. Okay, so now let's see how do we do this, which I forgot to make another copy of the circle, so we gotta do it again. All right, so this is a good learning, uh, a checkpoint. <laughs> so if you can do this, we're all good. Okay, so we need two circles, right? You wanna put it like this, grab the two circles, align, center, slice. All right, so there we have our circles. We can get rid of our slice results, so just grab the two items and hit delete. Here's our gigantic circle, so we're not gonna want that. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna try to recreate this actual one, okay? So it's just two layers. I'm gonna get rid of that peachy color layered um, and just have the two. So let's do that first. I do like three layers, but um, I'm not gonna do it this time. <laughs> okay, so we have happy here and we have birthday here. This is why I like to separate the two words because you can do something like this. You can move it where it's connecting just right here. This is totally depending on how you wanna do it, like your visual, um, to your visual happiness, your style, okay? I, let's see, what did I do? I I somehow connected it a lot. I think I did something like this. Yeah. And I actually had this connect to the H. So it's a very stable tag. And you kind of want that because you don't want this to be flimsy. You see, this is like very, very stable. Okay, but we can easily add that dot right there or this is what we can do. We can make this slightly bigger and no one would notice and make sure that everything connects. And if you don't like that, let's undo that for a second. Okay, so it's right here, right? Everything's connected, we like it, but this is not connecting. You can just bring in a circle Make it really small, smaller, like that. Grab this circle, grab our green layer. So let's scroll down, here's our green layer. Hit shift for the happy and the birthday and weld. Okay, now I'm gonna get rid of that, that, and that. So let's go to contour and let's click on those things. We don't want that, we don't want this, and we don't want this tiny little dot, that means nothing. <laughs> no one's gonna notice it, but it'll rip your paper apart. Okay, so here's happy birthday, we're gonna send it to the back, and there you have it, okay? Oh, I forgot to add this, where do you want this? I added it next to the B right here. You could add it here, that would be a cute place to put it as well anywhere that you want to. So that goes with your green layer. So we're gonna grab this and then hit shift and go find our green layer. Here it is, hit shift and weld. 
So now it's part of your um, one piece sent to the back and there's happy birthday. That's all there is to it. And then this, now that you have everything, size it to what you want, what you want it. Um, this, my original one is just under five inches long. So, you know, you can make it, and I think I did it under five to like maximize the number of pieces I can get on there. So you can type in 4.9 up here and see. All right, now let's talk about these tags when we go to make it. Okay, so let's go to make it screen. Now, if you wanna make duplicates, I would do it here. I would hit, let's say four and then apply. That's going to make your system work faster. If we made four copies of everything in design space on that, on that canvas screen, it will slow down your machine like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> so don't do that, do it here. Um, so here's, you know, the four pieces, okay. Um, this is all in that black. Oh, happy birthday. This is what I did. Let's cancel out of this for a second. Because I didn't want that nightmare of placing each letter down, I did happy birthday in HTV. So iron on, I did iron on, I did a gl black glitter iron on because then it comes out and it's already on the sticky paper, right? It's all one word. So what you wanna do is you want to attach it so that it prints out this way or cuts out this way in this order. And same thing with birthday. So let's attach it. Okay, now let's go to the make it screen. It's gonna look different. Okay, so here's our, oh, because it's also a different material, let's cancel out of it. You need to make it a different color. So this is black right now. Even though you're gonna use black, let's grab these two and make it a different color. Let's make it gray. You're just gonna to have to remember when you see it that you want this to be whatever color glitter HTV you want it to be, okay? So now let's go to make it. <laughs> what you wanna do is when you see the happy birthday, you want mirror on. Okay, and then you will pick whatever HTV color you're gonna feed that into your thing. Now let's say you wanna do more than one, right? Then up here, let's say you wanna do three. Hit three and apply. So now you'll have three of everything. Um, this is kind of wasteful, but it is what it is. You could just skip this one, right? Do three of these, two of these, get here. Um, here's your three, and we only want two butterflies. So on this one, hit the three dots and just hide object. So now you have two of those to match your print and cut. Here's your three, and see you can move these around to make it as efficient as you want it to be, okay? So you could do something like that. Here's happy birthday. We wanna make sure that mirror is on, and then you know you can move this around as well. Um, let's see, you could do something like this. I mean, that didn't help us at all, but <laughs> sometimes it does. It depends on what you have going on, but there you have it. Actually, could we? No, we can't fit it anywhere. All right, um, here's all your yellow pieces, all your puzzle pieces. Oh, let's look at this. You could move this into these empty spaces here. So if you're using scrap, you can have, you know, less, or you can, you know, depending on what you have. If you had a more square piece, you could do something like this, right? So just know you can move things around. You can also move it to different sheets. So let's say this, let's try to move some of these hearts over. So you click on the heart, the three dots, move object. We're gonna move it to this sheet. Let's see if we can make it work. So let's see, you got that. Um, you could do this. You can really move things around and squeeze it in. So let's see. Oh, I mean, this is easy. I can fit this heart here. Let's go here. I wonder if we can get it all on one page. So click here, three dots, move object. Let's move it to this screen. I know I can definitely fit two because I can fit that other heart here, but Let's see if we can do something like this. Um, I wonder if I can fit a heart there. 
Oh, yeah, so I can move that. So instead of two pieces of black cardstock, we're down to one. Yay. Move it over there. Confirm. All right, so we've got that. We've got that. Perfect. Everything fits. Just make sure, though, sometimes when I'm going too fast and I'm trying to save paper, I end up um, wasting paper because I won't notice that maybe this is like this. So it cuts into both pieces. You don't want that. You want to make sure that each piece is its, you know, has its own individual space, okay? So that the cutting doesn't overlap. All right, that's all that there is to it. I hope you make your own personalized gift tags and then tag me in your post because I would love to see it. All right, thank you so much. Let me know what you think, comments, questions, feedback. Um, and if you have a special request, let me know. I'd love to help you out. Um, you can post it and then send me an email to Ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, thanks guys, bye.